Just find your seat of contemplation, that space where you can anchor down through the sit bones. Elongate up your spine and then soften those shoulders. And as you just begin to tune your awareness inwards, I'll invite you to close your eyes if that feels safe. If not, then just half hood them enough that you can soften the space between the brows, that Agna Chakra, that third eye point between the brows. And as you breathe in through your nose, can you feel the sinuses underneath the eyes and move to the sides of the nose, expand, keeping the tissues of the face soft. As you breathe out, let out any gripping or holding, even if these first two breaths are a little bit more dramatized. Continue to follow your breath until it becomes a little bit easier and feels a little bit more accessible and fluid in this moment. go of any distractions. Begin to detach from your to-do list. And let's take the next hour just for us. Take it just for you. To marry your mind back into your heart space and once more create that whole body connection learning the language and understanding the flavors of your practice. Unraveling any knitted facades or bits of holding that we might be grasping to and just allowing for a little bit more strength and freedom today. If there's anything I cue that doesn't serve you today, please know you do not have to do it. Modify as required for your practice, even if that means we're just laying here for 60 minutes. Take a cleansing, energizing breath in. Empty. The next one I want you to fill in. Hold at the top of your breath, inhale. Hold. Press all that air out completely. Give me one more of those, inhale. Hold. Let it go. When you're ready, let's meet on our backs. I'm gonna lay on my blanket just for the sake that I know this floor is really tough here in studio. If at any point you need to go grab more props, go ahead. And as you come onto your back, bend your knees. Feel the weight of your hips soften through your belly and just observe that neutral lumbar spine where there's just a small lumbar arch happening that you could slide a lump note underneath your spine. Try to keep this neutral pelvis slowly exhale all the way. Notice what happens to the lower belly if that exhale. Inhale, fill. Exhale all the way. Engage and hold the tone from hip bone to hip bone, from belly button to the front of your pelvis. Keep that tone, inhale. Exhale. Keep that tone. Inhale, lift your right leg to a single leg supine table. Beautiful, lower the right leg down. 
Inhale, left leg. Again, creating just this little bit of supportive pelvic march, left leg down. Inhale, right lifts. Exhale, right lowers. Inhale, left lifts. Exhale, left lowers. And again, try to keep your pelvis neutral and stable in space. Stability is the name of the game here. As you notice movement with your breath, avoiding that flop around effect of your pelvis. Keeping that neutral lumbar spine, a little tone to the belly, just beginning to engage your lower abdominals. Last five. Keep the foot flexed as you lift it up. Four, three. Back of head is at rest, neck is heavy. Last one. Beautiful feet down. Keep that neutral lower spine till the long. Get your hips to sink really heavy. And then reach your palms towards your toes. Slowly drive your head, neck, and shoulders off your mat to gaze just above your knees. Take a big inhale, stay. Exhale. Feel that shake, that quake in the belly. Try to get the shoulders off the mat. Inhale. Keep your hips heavy, feet heavy. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. Lift your right leg. Inhale. Lower your right leg. Now there's going to be a little bit of pressure down through the lower spine to push it on the mat. Go ahead, let it. Inhale, left leg. Exhale, lower. Inhale, right leg. Exhale, lower. And again, you're gazing just above the knees so you're not scrunching the chin to chest. Left leg and lower. Keep marching with your breath. Gaze is pretty neutral. Neck is long. There's no tension scrunching up the neck or head. Good. Last eight. Drive the chest up. Drive the shoulder blades up. Seven. Last six. Five. Feel that inner tone, that stability. Four. Embrace that heat. Three. You're almost there. Nice. Two. Last one. Feet down, slowly roll head, neck, and shoulders down. Release. Ha. Take an inhale. Big sigh. Supine table, lift your shin bones, flex your feet. Again, stabilize your pelvis. Legs are relatively at that 90 degree bend. Arms up to the sky, shoulders tucked down. Now, the goal here is not to flop or flare your rib cage or pop your chest. The goal is not to tip or rotate the lower back. Same side arm, same side leg, reach away from each other, stabilizing your trunk. Take an inhale, feel that tone in your belly. Exhale, observe the tone. Here we go, inhale right away from right, reaching foot and hand away, no flaring of the ribs. Bring it back to that neutral table. Left side, left palm, left knee away. Exhale, bring it back. Inhale, right. Left. Right. Keep your tailbone stable. Neutral lower spine, stabilizing your trunk and your hips. Good. Keep alternating with your breath. Last five, four, three, two, last one on the left, knees to chest, compress. Ah, lift the tailbone, lengthen your lower back. If it feels okay, you can add a little sway, a little wiggle. Stoking that inner fire. Begin to bring up some energy. Hmm, beautiful. Slowly wrap palms to the back of your thighs. Flex your feet. Begin to rock and roll forward and back up and down your spine, squeezing legs together. And then when I say we're gonna rock forward to boat pose in the boss now, I like to start with the feet landed. Here we go. Drive the chest up. Feet land. Get the tailbone to press down. I actually like to rock more forward on the sacrum, less on the tailbone, more on, or at least towards the sit bones. Keeping the chest high, reach your arms forward. Squeeze your legs together. Notice if the chest is trying to round back into a snail shell, bring it up. Beautiful. Then if that feels safe, you can lean back like you're about to fall back. Maybe the heels come up. 
Maybe the toes come up. There we go. There's that shake back quick. Lift, lift, lift. Heart higher than knees for five. Notice your breath. Four. I like to even fan the toes. Three. Two. One. Cross your ankles in front of you. Sit tall. I'm going to move back on my mat here. And as you sit tall, lengthen your spine. Exhale, you're going to bow forward into your lap. Fully release your belly. Walk your hands forward. Soften your shoulders. Let them move away from your ears. And then with your breath, add that gentle sway, letting your heart shimmy from side to side, creating a little bit more space to your lower back and hips. Lift your gaze, come up to seated. Now, if you haven't done so, grab two blocks, bring them right beside the back line of your sacrum, quite in close to your hips on their lowest point. Extend your legs forward, Dandasana, King Staff Pose to prep the shoulders. So, keeping the ribs and hips zippered tight together, lengthening the spine. The goal here is to pull the shoulder blades together and down, and it's almost like as you push the palm down, you're trying to shrug the shoulder towards your back pockets. With the palms on the blocks, fingertips facing in, I like to curl the fingertips over the block. You're going to sit up tall. I like to move the blocks closer beside the sacrum. Push through the palms, straighten the arms, lift the hips, maybe hover them off the ground. Now, spine is still long and straight. I'm not arching to my lower back. Still contracting front hips and front ribs together. Push the shoulders away from your ears, lift the crown of your head. Good, now notice your breath. Good, slight tuck of the chin. Crown is long. Notice the shoulder blades push away from your ears, still squeezing them together, getting that scapula depression for five, four, three, shrug the shoulders down away from the ears, two, push into the arms, one, lower the hips. Shift your blocks forward to the side. Now, cross your legs the awkward way, the way that doesn't feel quite natural. So, right, we are very habitually used to doing most things like this one way. Sit tall. Fold forward into your lap. Have a little action in the toes so that we don't torque on the knees or ankles. Then add that little sway, releasing your lower back and hips. Notice your breath as you begin to connect with it with greater awareness and intention. <sighs> Inhale, rise. Place your blocks right beside your sacrum once more. Extend your legs. Second, Dandasana, King Staff Pose. So really wrap the elbows inward. It's almost like you're trying to turn the elbow creases into the ribs to get that rounding of the arm up onto the back body that just allows the shoulders to stay on the back. Press the heels down. To modify, you can bend the knees as needed. Otherwise, hands to the blocks, fingertips might curl over. Push the hands down, inhale, bring the hips up, good. Hug front hips and front ribs together. Good, feel the integrity of that front body, lengthening the lower spine. Push shoulder blades together and down, lift the crown. Beautiful, now notice your breath. Move shoulders away from the ears, slight tuck of the chin. One more. Exhale, release. Shift your blocks forward, come onto hands and knees, tabletop. Let's stretch up those wrists and forearms. <sighs> all right, so I'm gonna take all 10 fingers and turn them away from each other. And then nice and slow, I'm just going to shift my right side to side. You're gonna feel the weight of my body pad down through my fingerprints. And then beginning to add on, drawing a circle with my heart around the wrist creases, massaging all the ligature and bone structure of the wrists and hands together, holding them up. The other way. And I'll come back to center. I like to tuck my toes for this one. Turn the palms all the way around so the fingertips face the knees, thumbs point out, pinkies point in. And then really fanning the fingertips, gripping your fingerprints to the earth. 
Slowly pull the hips back, push the forearms forward. Keep the wrists pushing down towards the mat. Should feel that through the forearms. Let the shoulders melt away from the ears. And you shift your weight side to side as long as that feels good, right? Our practice should serve us. There we go, come back to all fours. Come sit back on the heels and throw up those wrists. Big circles of the hands, bend your fingers, other way, last time. Beautiful. I'm gonna come to tabletop, I'm gonna move my blanket off my mat. I'm gonna keep it close by though, so I like to use this for a knee protector from lunges or for lunges and stuff like that. Good, from tabletop, really hug the sacrum long. Slight lengthening of the lower spine, so you're not dipping the lower back, so go ahead, curl the sacrum slightly under. Feel that hip bone and rib bone on the front body connect and snatch tight. Kick your right heel back, lengthen. Lift, lengthen your left arm forward. Lift the right heel without dipping in the lower spine. Turn right knee, right toes to the left heel. Square yourself to the mat for five. Four, three, should feel the glute, two. Left hand to left wall, right heel to right wall. Take it out to the side for five. Yeah, right out to the side, four. Try to touch the toes, four, three, two. Right heel back, left hand forward, inhale. All you're gonna do is lower the left palm, exhale. Pick up your left shin bone, take it to the back, left hand corner of your mat. Slowly roll the right side up, modified side plank. Beautiful. Push away from the ground. Roll the shoulders onto the back. Option to stay here, option to bind. Right heel, right hand if you'd like. Again, just an option today. Maybe you test your balance, lean the chest forward. Maybe you pull the knee back. Yeah, play around. Oh, nice, toe grip, I like it. For three, for two. One, slowly release the bind if you have it. Right palm down, pivot the body to look forward. Tuck the left toes, right heel still lifted. Slowly press back, three-legged dog. <sighs> right heel high, inhale. Right knee, right elbow, pull forward. <sighs> Try to get that rounding the upper back. Feel the weight shift into your fingerprints. Inhale, three-legged dog, hips square, right leg straight and strong. Exhale, right knee to nose, curl and scrunch your body forward. Push away from the ground, inhale, three-legged dog. Right knee, left armpit, cross it under your body, get the knee higher into the armpit like a deodorant stick. Spin the left heel down, kick the right foot to the left wall. Option to stay here or pick the hips up, fall and star. Maybe the left hand reaches. Now, as you push away from the ground, really feel the adductor, the inner thigh on that left leg. Get longer from heel to head. Exhale, left palm down. Find your plank. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, bend the elbows lower, chip that out in that nice and slow to your belly. Release the shoelace side, your feet to your mat. Working through cobra, squeeze elbows together. Lengthen your tailbone towards your heels. Inhale, brings the heart forward and up. Squeeze shoulders together to aid in that lift of the chest. Pull the elbows back to your heels. Feel that engagement around the lower shoulder blades for three, for two, one, release. Two more of those, ha, wait to your breath. Inhale, lengthen the lower body. Exhale, float the heart forward and up. Stay for a cycle of breath, really squeezing the upper body. Let it go. Inhale, prep the lower limbs, exhale, Curl the heart forward and up. Undulating like a little bit of a tidal wave. Exhale, release. Tabletop pause. Side out, clean the slate. Are we awake now? <laughs> that yoga coffee. Flushing out your spine, cat and cow. Firm the shoelace out of your feet into the mat. Slowly round your spine away. Inhale, belly drops, tail and crown, flare up. 
opening through the chest or the sacrum. Exhale, round your spine. Find your flow with breath. Cycle through one more breath, allowing it to be fluid. Find a neutral, flat spine. Beautiful. As you find your neutral, flat spine, slight hug of your sacrum under so you feel the tailbone point straight back. Pull the sternum forward. Now, ribs and hips are squared to the ground, left heel back. Drop the left hip down, so left knee and left big toe point to the right heel. Beautiful, lengthening the side bodies, right hand forward. Good, pause, stay with breath for five. Push away from the ground, four. Flex the left toes, three. Stomp up to that heel, two. Right hand to the right wall, left heel to the left wall. Yeah, go ahead, bend the left knee to modify. Try to stomp it right up, perpendicular to the edge of the mat. 90 degrees for four, three. Embrace the shake, the quake, two. One, right hand forward, left heel back, pause, inhale. Exhale, right hand down, pivot the right shin bone to the right. Slowly lift, modified side plank. As you lift for your side plank, really press away from the ground, take that bottom right rib higher, stomp the left heel back. Maybe you bind in front, grabbing big toes. Maybe you bind up, maybe you bind behind. Again, allow for a little bit of play. Yeah, you don't have to bind, it's just an option today. Making sure the lower back's not going to be put at risk if you're binding. Notice your inhale, heartfelt breath. Feel the exhale. Ha. One more cycle. Beautiful, release the bind if you have it, lengthen out. Left palm down. Pivot your right shin bone, tuck the right toes, left leg still lifted. Hug front ribs, front hips together, three-legged dog, kick it up and back. Beautiful, hips are square, charge through the legs. Left knee, left armpit, exhale, pull forward, three-legged plank. <laughs> Inhale, three-legged dog, kick it straight up and back, left leg straight and strong. Left knee to nose. <laughs> three-legged dog, kick it up and back. Left knee to right armpit. Get it in nice and tight, feel the obliques curl. Spin the right heel down, left hand presses. Extend the left heel right out past that right edge. Press the hips up, fall and star. Pushing away from the ground, squeeze shoulder blades on your back. Now move your hips slightly more forward. Flex the left toes. Seal the right foot into the mat, feel it grip. One more breath. Exhale, right palm down, plank. Inhale, sweetly rock the weight forward into your fingerprints, lay the toes. Exhale, lower half or all the way, chaturanga, elbows bend back to the hips, weight comes forward. Inhale, roll over the toes, cobra, up dog. Push the heart forward and up. Exhale, down dog, big side, five breaths. <sighs> take what you need. If you need rest, take rest. If you need water, take water. I'm going to add a little sway, opening up that posterior chain, really tipping the sit bones up and back. Keep a gentle press down of your fingerprints into the mat so that we create some flexion to the armpits so we're not going into hyperextension in the shoulder joint. It's like the armpits are widening back to the thighs. Again, head or at rest, just gaze between the shins. More traditional sun salutations looking forward. Inhale, walk your feet forward, forward fold. Top of your mat, go for these blocks or chairs. Ha. Stay light on the toes, heavy on the heels, halfway lift. Push the spine long, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Last one, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Plant your palms, step back to plank, inhale. Rock the weight forward, exhale, one long line, slowly lower, half or all the way. Inhale, cobra, up dog, roll over the toe, push away from the ground, squeezing elbows tight to the ribs, shoulders away from ears. Exhale, down dog. 
Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, step, walk, jump, land light, top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, half. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Hips go forward, lungs lift up. Maybe you take a little back bend, a heart opener at the top. Big swan, my right back down, forward fold. Breathe in, half. Breathe out, fold. Plant your palms, step to plank. Inhale, lengthen, pull the weight of body forward, heavy on the fingerprints. Exhale, one long line from tailbone to crown, lower half or all the way. Inhale, cobra up dog, open up that front body. Shoulders hug together behind you. Exhale, down dog, big side. <sighs> Inhale, raise your right leg. Open your right hip crease, fire hydrant, good. Bend the right knee up, push your heart back to the left heel. Add a softening to the left knee so the left heel can be a little bit more receptive. Inhale. Here we go. Right knee, right armpit. Pull forward. Stay. Three-legged plank. Zipper the right knee down to the right wrist. Drawing a box. Zipper the right knee over to the left wrist. Zipper the right knee up to the left armpit. Over to the right armpit. So we finish that box. Okay. Back down to the right wrist. Over to the left, up to the left armpit, back to the right, pause, look forward, step forward, low lunge, draw your back knee sweetly down. Contracting that right heel to left knee, squeeze tail and forward, rise, inhale, exhale, cactus your arm bones. Inhale, hug the front ribs in, exhale, tuck the back toes. Inhale, lift the back leg, straighten the arms. Exhale, chair pose, top of your mat, lean forward, step left foot forward, pause. Inhale, sit deeper. Exhale, hands to heart. Twist right, inhale, left arm leads, hooking over the thigh. Make sure your hips aren't swaying side to side. Create some space for your ears and neck. Unravel, forward fold. Ha! Inhale, half. Exhale, fold. Inhale all the way up. Big circle of the arms. Hands to heart center. Some mosquito. Closing it up. Sit down, chair pose. Hands to heart center. Feeling the tone of the belly and that push back of the sacrum, right? We're flattening that lower spine. Shift weight to the right foot. Hover your left off the ground. Inhale. Now keep your hips steady, lightly step back, crescent lunge, high lunge, left toes land. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, you're gonna twist right, so bend deeper into the right knee, stabilize your pelvis, left arm forward, right arm back, keep the chest up. Push the hands apart, so chest is up, we're not hinging forward yet. We're using the core to lift, push the right hand back for three, two, maybe exult, right hand down, left hand high. Lengthening through that left side body, right palm to back of left thigh. If it touches nice, if not, that's okay. One more breath. Left palm to earth inside the right foot. Beautiful. Push the right hand away. Squeeze the right hip back. Now, this is the fun part. Pressing through the left palm, pivot turn all ten toes to the right edge of your mat. So we're spinning to the pinky toe edge side of both feet. Heel toe your right foot either halfway back, using it as a kickstand, or stepping all the way back, Vasistasana side plank. So again, you can modify as needed. Push the hips away from the ground, staying for five. Maybe find a fallen star, a five-pointed star. Maybe lift that top leg, playing around. That's three, two. Slowly find your plank, one. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. Ha! Spine strengtheners. Press the shoelace side of your feet into the earth. Curl your tailbone back to the heels, little toe into the belly. Now, I want you to lengthen the neck and take the arms open to a T. So the goal here is not to crunch into the neck, but the goal is to shrug shoulders away from the ears and feel the muscles between the shoulder blades hug together. So lengthen the neck, you might even place a block under your forehead. Inhale, draw the shoulder blades together. Exhale, lift the elbows, arms into a T. Beautiful. 
So again, there's no crunching in the neck or head. The jaw is soft, the shoulders away from the ears. You're feeling the stability between the shoulder blades. One more breath. Exhale, release. Plant your palms beside your ribs. Either taking cobra or up dog, push through and up. Exhale, down dog, hips float back, big side. Five breaths. Let this reset. Hmm. Last breath, and we'll move. <sighs> All together, left leg, inhale, lift. Open the hip crease, fire hydrant, point the left kneecap up. Charge your heart back, lift the knee higher. Continue to hug the front ribs in, knitting them down towards the navel. Here we go, left knee, left armpit, hold. <sharp inhale> Zipper the left knee down to your left wrist, drawing that box. Zipper over to the right wrist. <sharp inhale> up to the right armpit, over to the left armpit, zipper down to the wrist, zipper over to the right, finishing it off, zipper up, back to the left armpit, ready, look forward, step forward, big stance, drop the back knee, low lunge, Anjanasana, inhale, curl it up, exhale, sink into the right hip flexor, Cactus the arm bone, squeezing that back body. Front ribs hug in. Exhale, tuck back toes. Ready, inhale, inflates the back knee up. <sighs> Beautiful, straighten the arms, inhale. Exhale, slow hinge forward without lifting the hips higher than this. Chair pose, step it forward. <sharp inhale> Drawing the hips into alignment, shoulders down from the ears. Sit deeper, sit deeper, hands to heart, inhale. Exhale, we twist left, right arm up and over. Good, wash this way of your pelvis. Push equally down through your feet. Nice. Feel that revolution with breath, inhale. Exhale, unravel, fold. Ha. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Breathe in all the way up, big circle the arms. Maybe take a back end at the top, hips go forward, lungs lift up, no dipping into the lower spine. Exhale, hands to heart center, Tadasana. <sighs> Feel your feet. <sighs> Feel that picked up heart rate. Let your breath be your compass. Sweep the arms, inhale. Sit down, exhale. From your chair, shift your weight left. Hips stay square, hover the right foot. Feel your balance, hips are square. Shoulders away from ears, head high. Ready, step back, crescent lunge, high lunge, land the right toes light. Curl the right hip forward, left hip back. Lengthening up the spine, hug the ribs in. Splice the air as you stay tall, right hand forward, left hand back. Push the hands apart, Just humble the chin in. Option to exalt, left palm down, right palm up. Feel that through your right side body. Exhale, right hand down to the inside of the right foot. And by right, you know I mean left, so right hand down to the inside of the left foot. Sink your hips low as you revolve and push the hands apart. Turning into the left thigh, we'll take a breath in. Exhale, press into the right palm. Turn all 10 toes to the left edge of your mat. So you're spiraling to the pinky toe edge side of both feet. Heel toe the left foot halfway down or all the way down, side plank, Vasistasana. Press away from the ground. Beautiful, maybe you pick up that left leg. Maybe you find five pointed star. Play, play, play for four, three, two. With the exhale, one plank, inhale. Exhale, slowly lower to your belly. Beautiful. Ha, locus, press the shoelace side of the feet down. Lengthen your arms back by the hips. Now, I'm gonna rest my forehead on the ground. Just to start, just like so really feel that mobility of that gliding side of the shoulder blades. Keep the tailbone squeezing back to the heel so you feel the front of your hip creases pressed to the earth. Notice that tone to your belly. Now, palms hugging just outside the thigh bones. Inhale, squeeze the shoulder blades together. 
Don't change anything with your lower body. Exhale, move the heart forward and up. Let the elbows float. Now, I want you to feel like you're trying to hold a box just above your bottom. Good, fingertips are trying to almost touch towards the back of your mat. Palms are fan. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Last three, two, one. Release, palms plant. Inhale, cobra, up dog. Sweep it through and up. Exhale, down dog. Big side, five breaths. Take water, take child's pose. Take what you need today. I really want you to listen in to the language of your body and your practice. It's been a little spicy. A little bit of spice is nice. Next breath will move. Inhale, raise your right leg. Exhale, open up the right hip crease, fire hydrant. Beautiful, stay for a breath. Exhale, step forward, warrior one, warrior one, right foot to the inner right thumb. Spin your left heel in, left toes out. Legs are still on train tracks, so there's some space between the heels so the hips line up. Square your hips forward, rise. Beautiful, as you rise, hug your rib cage in. Square those hips. Stay active through that back left heel. Glue the outer left heel to the mat. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, lean forward. One long line from back heel to crown of head. Get heavy on that right heel. Cactus the arm. Let's squeeze the back body. Good. Neck is free. You're heavy on the right heel. Belly's hollowing in. Slowly fly up, shifting the weight, warrior three. So turn that left knee, left toe down. Hips are square. Push right from the ground for five. Maybe the arms go out, up, forward, whatever you want. Four, three, two. Reach the arms forward. Elbows to knee. Curl tiny little ball. Bending into the right knee. I want you to really feel that inner hug. Inhale, expand, reaching forward, kicking back. Hips are square. Test that balance. There it is. Exhale, elbow to knee. Curl tiny little ball. Inhale, expand, pushing away from the ground, stomping back. Exhale, elbow to knee, stay. Fingertips down, standing splits. Kick the left heel high. Beautiful, as high as it'll go, right? Heels to heaven, head to toes. I want you to really feel that back leg kick up. Even the toes are pointed or flexed. Pulse through five, four, three. Two, as quiet as you can, land your left toes back. Warrior two, so take a big stance on your mat, spin the left heel down. Press through the right heel, keep that shin bone stacked, rise up. Ooh, there you go. My glutes had to test that one. <laughs> as you bend into the right knee, let it bend towards the second and third toe on the right foot. Curl the tail along, opening up the front of your pelvis. And I'm still having that little contraction of the heels together to engage through the thigh bones. Reach the arms out. Flip your front palm. Lift, exult. Left palm down, right palm up. Stay long in this right side body. Side angle, Parsvakonasana. Right arm, right thigh. Left arm overhead. Inhale, lift, exult. Beautiful second side angle. Float through. Inhale, lift, exult. Straighten that front leg. Beautiful. Uti to Trikonasana. I'm going to shorten up my stance. Pull the right hip back, left hip forward. Reach the right arm past the front toes. Try to get the right ribs parallel to the mat. And I'm allowing the right hip to tilt and rotate back. I'm grounding through both heels. And then maybe right hand down, left hand up. Now, whether you have the fingertips slightly on the mat, on the shin, or a block, again, just be kind to your body. Notice those legs. Inhale, rise, hands to hips. Heel toe that back foot in even more, even more, even more, so that there's about a foot and a half between the front heel and that back arch. Now, option to use a block or just that right hand, half moon. 
Bend into the right knee, let the knee come past the toes. Land your right fingertips down on the ground, on a block, whatever you need, about a foot in front of the right toes. Now, putting gentle pressure through that right heel, keep the left leg flexed, press through the right leg, lift up. Open your side body to the ceiling. Let your hips open to the left. Good, stacking hips, stacking ribs. If you stack the hands, maybe you gaze up, gaze down. If you want to bind, maybe you bind. Left palm, left foot. Maybe you take a gentle back bend, sugar cane, right like a Christmas candy cane. Play for five. If it's perfect, let it be perfect. If it's messy, let it be messy. Last three, two, you bind, gently release. One, quietly find your forward fold, top of your mat. Let it go, <sighs> shake it out. Whew. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Plant your palms, step to plank, inhale. Flowing out, rocking the weight forward. Gently bend the elbows to Padanga. Cobra up dog, push through the index knuckle. Exhale, down dog, drive the heart back. Three breaths, and then we'll move. Last little push. It's meant to be spicy this morning, I know. Hmm. Next inhale, we lift the left leg. Beautiful, open the hip crease, fire hydrant. Really push your heart back, lift the knee. Exhale, warrior one, step forward. Spin the right heel in, right toes out. Contracting the heels tighter together, rise. Beautiful, I like to keep that inner engagement, that inner hug, I just feel like that supports me. I know some people feel more supportive if they push their feet apart. But again, depending on your practice, reaching the arms forward and up, rib cage in. Beautiful, take an inhale. Sit deeper, trust the process. Hinge forward, one long line, come back to the crown of head. Get heavy on that left heel. Stay, lengthen your side bodies. Inhale, let that shake back quick happen. Fly up, warrior three, exhale. Ha. Finding your balance, drop that right hip. Square your hips and shoulders to the ground. Stomp out through the right leg. Beautiful, take an inhale. Tiny little ball, elbows to the right knee, bend the left. Expand, shoot out and up, inhale. Exhale, elbows to knee. Inhale, expand. Exhale, elbows to knee, tiny little ball last time. Inhale, expand. Beautiful, stay, stay, stay. Hands down, right heel up, standing splits. Go ahead, use blocks, props, chairs, whatever you need. Nose to toes, right heel up. Good, try to straighten the right leg. Stay heavy on the left heel, even if you're bending the left knee. Yeah, big hamstring opener. Lift for five, four, go ahead, pulse that right leg, three, two. Slowly bend the left knee, quietly land, crescent lunge. Right toes to the back of the mat. <sighs> Spin the right heel down. I guess we're not lifting up in total crescent lunge, but set up for warrior two. As you windmill the arms up, stabilize your trunk. All right, how are we? There should be some spice and heat. We're burning it out, we're almost there. Contract the inner heels together. Left hip is rolling forward, right hip is rolling back. Open the arms. Steady your breath, right? Warriors are calm, they're not chaotic. Flip the front palm, lift exult, left palm up, right palm down. I like to even look down the right leg just to really lengthen that left side, make sure I'm not dipping into the lower back. Side angle, left arm, left thigh. Reaching the side bodies long, right arm up and over. Inhale, lift, exult. Beautiful second side angle. Lengthen your side bodies. Don't be afraid to bend that left knee a little bit more. Left hand can be on the thigh, the ground or blocks. Inhale, lift, exult. This time, straighten the left leg. Beautiful, heel, toe, the right foot in. Trikonasana triangle, left hip back, right hip forward. Allow your pelvis to rotate just a little so we don't jam the thigh bone in the hip socket. You want a little rotation so you can bypass it. Pull the tailbone back, reach 
the sternum forward, reach, 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 until that left rib is parallel to the ground, left palm down, right palm up, roll open. Now, I want you to slightly tip your tailbone to the back edge of your mat, hollow the belly in as you get longer in the waistline, press the sternum longer to the front edge of your mat. Nice, one more breath. Inhale, rise, hands to hips. Heel toe your right foot in until it's about a foot, a foot and a half away from your left heel. Beautiful. Now, reach that left arm out. Bend into left knee. Press straight and strong through the right foot. Half moon, Ardha Chandrasana, left palm to either block or ground or chair. Pressing through the left heel. Again, right leg straight and strong. Flex the right toes, flex the right toes. Press it up. Beautiful. Now, see so if we can get a little lighter in the left fingertips or palm. Nice. Try to pull the right toes slightly more forward of the right hip. Stacking hips, stacking ribs. Maybe stack palms. Whoop, my balance. There it is. Okay, as you continue to breathe, maybe you bind. Maybe you work to sugar cane again, being kind to your hamstrings, your back, your body, your chest. Play for five, four, Three, two, sweetly unbind. Everyone turn it down, forward fold, top of the mat. <sighs> Let it go. <sighs> Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Find your palms, step to plank. Inhale, rocking weight forward. Exhale, bend the elbows, flip it on the flushing it out. Inhale, cobra up dog, sweep the heart through and up. Exhale, down dog. Jump through to your seat. Do we still have legs? They're here. All right, take your legs out in front of you. Take them wide. You might want your blocks for this one. So wide leg forward fold. Try to have the kneecaps and second toe pointing up at the ceiling. Rock more forward on the pelvis so that you're more on to the front of the pelvis, less on the tailbone. If you're having some troubles just getting that pelvic tilt, you can sit up on the edge of a block, a pillow, a blanket, and let your hips almost shoot forward off it so the tailbone is slightly extending back. Yeah. Using biomechanics and physics as it should with that block of the chest. Gentle press down of the heels with a long flat side in the hinge and as far forward as your body says yes to. I like to use the blocks, maybe stacking and reaching the forearms. But again, just trying to do this with a long, flat spine. <sighs> Notice that energy beneath your surface, how it charges and percolates. One more big breath. Slow rise. Shift your props. Bend the knees gently, lean back. Sweep the heels forward. Come on to your spine with bent knees. Feet are about two fist distance apart, but hips width. Knees are tractioning in line with the second and third toe. Curl it down. Good little bridge. So. I don't actually like to have my heels tucked up right in close to my fingertips. I feel like I just never have enough space in my front body to allow that. So plant the palms down, feet are just in a comfortable position, about half a foot, a foot away from the hips. Nice and slow, pressing through the heels. Curl your tailbone forward and up. Press through the heels, feel the hip bones shine up to the ceiling. Good, as you feel the front of your hip bones point to the sky. Lengthen your tailbone forward, feeling the tailbone lift higher than your lower back. Good, no tension in the neck or head, the jaw is soft. You might feel a little pressure of the forearms, the index knuckle down, that's okay. One long line. I feel like the knees are trying to pull past the toes, the heels are trying to hug into the hips. Last three, two, one word at a time, lower down. Good, so. 
If full wheels a part of your practice, you're more than welcome to take it as long as you do it safely and mindfully as not to create irritation in your lower back. I'm gonna take a second bridge, palms down. If you're taking full wheel, you'll place the palms above your shoulders. Inhale, press hips forward and up, squeeze. Feel the glutes, lift the front of your pelvis. No dipping into the lower spine, no arching the back. I want you to squeeze the hips, lift the pelvis, the hip flexors skyward. Now push through those heels. Feel the kneecaps trying to reach forward past the toes. Good, little shake, little quake, last three. Two, little bridge full wheels wherever you're at. One, slowly lower down. <sighs> Pause. Let your spine settle with breath. Gravity blanket you once more. Thread the needle, right leg over left, figure four shape. Option to stay here and just push the thigh bone away or reach for your left thigh or shin. Rolling the shoulders down and back, pushing your tailbone long. Think about that neutral lumbar spine. Hug left knee to left shoulder. that right foot engaged to support the knee just so I'm not sickling the ankle and taking the ligaments and joints into angles and positions that make them grumpy <sighs> slowly release nice and slow keep this figure four shape with the right leg outer left thigh sole the right foot land to the left edge of your mat just let them twist over as far as they'll go tent the right knee up Push the right foot into the ground, or if the ground's just out of reach, a block. Lean the right knee away from you. Open the right palm. Get more spacious from right shoulder to right hip. Like we'll get to even look towards the right. Inhale, slow rise. Back to center. Unhook the right heel. <clears throat> Rebalance your hips and sacrum. Cross your left ankle over your right. Put your four shape. Flex the left toes. Option to stay and just simply push the thigh bone or thread the needle. And again, you can use a strap, a towel, a tether if your arms are feeling a little short today. Use it to wrap around the shin or the thigh. If the head, neck, and shoulders cannot relax down, place a pillow or block under them, or maybe just don't go as far. Last big belly breath. Right foot down, maintain this figure four shape. Right foot, or right thigh, left foot, you're gonna twist them to the right. Open up your left palm. I like to even just hold on to the left ankle with my right palm, but that's me. You don't have to. Some people like to push the thigh bone away. Begin to lean the left knee away from your nose. Don't gaze left if that feels safe. Breathe into all that outer hip, that lower spine. Slow inhale, bring it back up. Hug your knees into your chest, wrap your forearms, wrap your elbows, give yourself a big compressive squeeze. Breathe into all this comfort, this space. <sighs> Internally, thank your body for showing up and nourishing you, whether it was 60 minutes of rest or 60 minutes of movement. <sighs> when you're ready, branch open, expand for your final resting pose, your Shavasana. <sighs> 